I misspoke on the last video's titles, bro. It shouldn't have been Free Rins Milfriz. No, no, no. It should have been Free Rins Gilfriz. This grandmother elf tried to riz up this guy by sending a little shoo, but it was so bad. It's like she has no sex appeal. There's like no sex appeal. Well, then again, sometimes they'll like show off her feet, right? Sometimes they'll do stuff like that. But for the most part, the elves and stuff like that, they're going extinct because they're not horny. And like she has no understanding of like, I don't know, romantic development or sexual interest like that. But Farron and Stark, they're like, oh my God, this is pretty much the equivalent of like seeing a kiss on a movie while you're with your parents. You're like, oh my God, don't watch. That was pretty funny. We got a new party member, Zion. He's going to be like a priest. He's going to be like a healer type. And he says he wants to find his friend in the Northern region. He might be already dead, but we'll see what happens. Let's begin today's reaction. New village. I really like Fern and Frieden's scarf. They look very cozy. Oh, you've been here before. No. Oh, Himmel. Himmel trying to go on a date. The f wait. They're fighting couples fighting. Wait, what the fuck just happened? Wait, we missed something. Fern had the biggest pout there. Yeah, what's going on? Oh, he fucked up. Oh, he fucked up. No, Farron got him a present. He didn't get her one? That pout is adorable. What did she say to him, though? So how early is it to the day? Did the day just start? Yeah, well, I don't think she expects anything from Zayn. But... Oh my god, look at that pout. She wants a present from Zayn, too. Wait, what about Frieden? Did Frieden get her anything? Hold up. Mm -hmm. He might actually run back all the way to Aizen. No, he should come see me. I did nothing wrong. Oh, don't let him see. You want it? What do you mean? He's a playboy. <laughs> yeah, too fair and Stark is like one of the few boys. Like she's never socialized with anyone else before. He's like the only boy she's been around. Denied. Yeah, Stark is a little... He's a little slow. <laughs> this is true. He was like, oh yeah, it was my birthday. No one's ever gotten me anything ever. Mm, kind of, yeah. He wanted the gold one. She's like, too, too expensive. Oh. Zayn is very refreshing addition to the party that can do stuff like this too. Almost not. I don't know if like his role model, but someone older that can give Farron like advice stuff like this. Like Frieden, to an extent, can't really give advice like this. Yeah, you killed him multiple times, like twenty times. Yeah, Zayn, I like him. He's a, he's a nice addition to the party. Definitely switches things up. Email, probably take like twenty times to fucking make the statue. He's like, I don't like how my hair looks here. Uh oh, oh, start <laughs> fucking grouping. Just say sorry. Let's go get a birthday present. Nice. He wanted to say sorry from the beginning. Oh! He didn't have a gift because he wanted to do it with her. And she was immediately mad. Wow. Hey, both are apologizing. No one's like taking it too seriously. I'm used to it. I don't know if that's a good thing. Let's get a gift. What will we get? I wonder if Frieden got her anything. Wait, the fuck? She was spying on the rooftops? <laughs> Sneaky. Yeah, they did. Oh, hey, that's the title of the episode. No, I see the kids look after Frieden. <laughs> Pretty much. She's, I don't know, not emotionally stunted. I don't know. She doesn't care about stuff like that, right? A guy that's. Yeah, Heiter. Heiter was a playboy too, was he? Was he so easy around the girls? 
No, but the metrica being drunk and hungover scales with greatness of a priest. As he has a bottle in his fucking robe. That means his power level as a priest is even stronger. That's actually quite the feat to surpass high turn degeneracy. I deal Corona? Well, well, I meme about his degeneracy, but he did care for Fern a lot, right? He was like a responsible person. See, he was just faking it, but everyone else thought that he was such a model person. You fake it until you make it. And that's what he was, a drunk emotional support. Praise. Have we ever told Free Fern that she's a good girl? Imagine he didn't go to heaven for being such a bad priest. Good boy. Can I give him a head pat? Really? This is a very... I don't know. This is Gramps getting a head pat from a lolly elf. I know she's older, but still. Freedom head pat. Hey, Farron might get one. Maybe Stark will too. Oh, Zion is getting one too. Yo, these head pats are kind of aggressive. <laughs> They're not like soft little pat. She fucking just like pushes the head. <laughs> Look at his head. He's like, leave me alone. <laughs> Feels bad, man. She's not a MILF. Oh, they got matching ones! Dark look concerned there. Did it cost a lot of money? <laughs> Accessory shop. Maybe we should have bought the gifts there instead. Yeah, she does. Yeah, she got a new one. Dark got that for her. Oh, you noticed? Yeah. Is it a butterfly design? I can't really tell. Oh, the ring from the couple episodes ago. Remember that? On Stark's birthday, she was looking at a ring. I don't know what that ring was for, though. Don't tell me you lost it. You actually lost it? You lost it. Yeah, that's a lot of shit in there. Oh, never mind. Huh? As soon as she looked at the ring, it just... The carriage exploded. It's, it is the same ring. What the fuck was that? Oh! <laughs> what? Look at the horse trying to run in the air! What? But if we defeat the monster! The, the drop, we die! Oh, can we? Yeah, right now, our carriage is flying. Oh, the intimidating way that they just like fly and look down on you. <laughs> yeah, get to the point. Briefly. Okay. And do what? Okay, I mean. Yeah, they could like drop them down like this. I guess the cart is just GG. Fucks for the merchant. Jump. You can just jump, bro. You can do it. You're a strong boy. Wait. I don't know. When, Because when he was fighting the dragon, he did do a big drop, but it's not the same. Okay, this doesn't even count, though. What the fuck? He went head first there. <laughs> Replay that. Look at the shit. He just fucking dives head in first. Boom. <laughs> 10 out of 10 form. <laughs> what are you doing, bro? That was ridiculous. Yeah, let it fall and just hold it for a bit. Then let it fall. Nah, we'll be fine. Zion is pretty chill about this. Oh! We're about to be turned into mincemeat regardless. Here we go, action scene! That laser beam is so fast. Oh, wait, this is the first time he's seeing her in action. And uh, we just gotta levitate it. Here we go. And then we stop the fall. Okay. I think it was relatively okay. The, the card's probably still fucked, though. I feel bad for the merchant. The horse is still kind of flying. What's going on there? Hey! We haven't seen a scene like this in a long time. Remember in the earlier scenes of Frieden, um, she was always caught by a mimic and her ass was always hanging out, but the horse survived. Nice. We're just gonna spend the episode fixing the cart now? Okay. Wait, what about the ring? Wait, the whole thing, the, the ring, we forgot about it again. But it was the same design as the bracelet. Yeah. 
but the ring had the same symbol. Oh, Stark chose it for her. That's even more special. Her type is the hardest to deal with. Look at Farron's look. She looks so disappointed. Hmm, what do you think? What do you think? What was her reaction? He said a dead look the entire time. A lot of pouts today from Farron. Ooh, I hope she heard that part. I think she did. Yeah, you did it. The Fern Stark relationship is. Wait, 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 wait. Eternal love? Does Fern know about this? Does he hear that? Eternal lovers. I think Fern appreciates it. Oh, come on. That might be true, though. What if she did know? Did you know? But more importantly, Friedrich's ring, who gave it to her? Right? Was it Himel that gave it to her? <laughs> even though, even the way that she's protecting the gift that he got for her, she was like saying, Hey, don't disrespect the gift that you got for me. He's just enjoying the, what's it called? The springtime of youth as, as, might uh guy would say more more reading stuck in a cart scene nice <laughs> big bonk zion is being impressed by all the like even freedom's magic stark strength <laughs> why is she on top of her like that <laughs> okay the cart's finally good to go Surprised we fixed it just in the middle of the forest with limited supplies. What's she looking for? Maybe the ring? She thinks the ring fell out here? Himmel did give it to her. Fern was so quick with that as soon as she heard Himmel gave it to her. But the ring is like eternal lovers! Okay, alright, we got more gifts. Yeah, that's like an important thing! She's so indifferent to it, though. <laughs> no, I bet you he did know. It was important to Himmel. Was it not important to Frieden? Judging by her actions, I guess not that important. There's a spell for finding lost accessories? Actually, she would love this kind of stuff. So this is after we beat the Demon King. Himmel gets her a gift. Hmm. Is that the eternal lover one? It is. So she picked it, not knowing what it was, but Himel knows what it is. No, he definitely knew. That is so far away. Holy shit. Oh, 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 the Riz? He's getting on one knee. Propose. The Riz King, the hero. Shit. That was so smooth. That was actually so smooth. Look at the way his hair is just flirting in the sky, in the wind. Where's the wind coming from? The lighting was perfect there too. Sunset lighting. Maybe a little bit. Nothing? Okay, okay, she's smiling. Maybe a little bit. Eternal lovers. No, eternal lovers! Poor Stark. This is a very cute episode. We just had Stark's birthday about, you know, um, what's it? Fern getting Stark a gift. And now the other way around, the initial fighting between the young lovebirds was pretty funny. The way that Zayn was getting shit on also pretty funny. <laughs> Fern spying on, you know, Stark and, uh, or Frieden spying on Fern and Stark. Also very funny. The ring, the eternal lovers. I guess this is like a romantic ship that may be forming. You know, there's still like... I mean, they're still children, so even Stark is like, Ew, gross, love, and she, he, he's kind of like backing away, but I think Fern, I think deep inside, she does like Stark, even though she calls him stupid. I mean, they're kids, right? I mean, calling each other insults like that, totally normal. Plus, to Fern, Stark is like the only act boy around her age that she socialized around with, so I'm sure this is like a big deal to her, right? Now, I'm not sure about what we're going to do in the future episodes, but this episode, standalone little romantic little episode, little little callback to the eternal lover ring that Himel gave. Dude, the, the way that the Himel, the ring, it wasn't a proposal scene, but the way he got down on one knee and just put the ring on her hand, that whole motion was so fucking fluid. 
He is such a fucking playboy. But hey, if you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.